That's quite a charge to say progressives of the day are like the progressives, like these guys, isn't it? To say they have anything in common is an outrage, unless they do have something in common. And I want to now take you to today and see if you see anything in common. The 20th century progressive. First thing, they deny the authority of God and they place themselves in the role of the grantor of rights. That comes from Nietzsche. They don't see value in all life. They think that they're better than you. They seek control of all things that are happening to and around you because they know better. Okay, so that's what a progressive does that believes in eugenics. That's what they believe. Let's see if we have anything in common. First, let's start with placing value on life. Well, you know that we've already, we're funding Planned Parenthood and everything else, which is Margaret Sanger. But what about this? This came out last week. Uh, this is from Salon. So what if abortion ends life? They published an article on abortion daring progressives to take the mask off and stop denying that it's life, that it's life inside the womb. The author, a progressive author, argued that it is life. So what? We all knew it. We've all known it for a very long time. We just haven't said it. I'd be happy to have an abortion because, she said, quote, all life is not equal. Okay, the next one uh, on the list that they have to have in common if they're going to be like the early eugenicists, um, they have to have control. Well, progressives have already taken control of health care. On Friday, it was announced that sodas and candy will be gone from schools, but guess what's being made more available? Without your knowledge or your consent, yes, your kids will now have the morning after pill. Bloomberg bans soda and trans fats but we'll hand out the abortion pill to our kids. Your kids can't do this, but they can do something else. Wow. Do they believe they're superior to you? Well, watch. This is what they found. The people in childhood who had the lower IQs wound up being more conservative in adulthood. I'm just saying it's a study. Taking I think Sarah Palin by... proved herself to be I think she's proven herself to be profoundly stupid. The most conservatives are wildly stupid. I think people have been reluctant to say Herman Cain is dumb and an idiot like Sarah Palin. We said it about her because they're afraid. People, oh, you're just saying that because you're racist. I'm not racist. I think he's dumb. <laughs> I think he's really dumb. He be... doesn't have the brains to be president. Rick, Rick, Rick. Just a, a, a final question. Do you think Herman Cain can spell the word Iraq? <laughs> okay, intellectually superior. And remember, the president in his executive order wants to find out if conservatives are dangerous. Uh, he wants to find out which groups are dangerous. Um, we also showed you a study last week that came out and said that conservatives are born dangerous. So why the history lesson today? Well, it all goes back again to that Al Gore video, declaring an ideology um, that I haven't heard since the early 20th century, that what we believe is in our DNA. And while it's generally good to be different, it can get out of hand. Hmm. So finally, the mask is coming off of the progressive movement. I'll show you the uh, video and the repeat in history with one of the world's foremost experts on eugenics. Things that you must be aware of. Next.